Hi and welcome to my channel. My name is Lauren from Lauren's Cravings over on Instagram. I uh, create videos ba mainly based around food, um, also with some like pregnancy, motherhood and baby videos thrown in now since having my little boy back in April 2021. So this video is me trialling out, showing you what I eat in a week. So just wanting to try out different videos, get a flavour for what people are keen to see. Um, hoping that it gives you some recipe inspiration or some ideas for your own meals. A lot of us can obviously get stuck in the same rut of eating the same thing over and over again. So have a wee look, let me know what you think and I hope you enjoy. So I thought I'd start on Saturday, which is appropriate because I start my week on Saturday because I check in with my PT on Saturdays. So I go to a PT every Saturday and generally every Tuesday or Wednesday. So I do my measurements, I've taken photos this morning and I do make sure I have a meal in enough time to ensure that it's digested by the time I get to PT because I have made that mistake before and it is never a pleasant experience. So this morning I have got some toasted sourdough from Cadzow Bakery which comes as part of my fresh fruit and veg delivery and I also have gorgeous buttery scrambled eggs. And I say buttery because obviously when you're trying to lose weight, that isn't ideal, but you can't make eggs like that if you don't have a decent whack of butter in it. So, butter on the toast, butter on the eggs. And as, as, as much as that is kind of protein-y, I really need to up the protein. So, through this, probably what I'm eating in a week, you'll see how much I probably struggle to get my protein allowance in. I know he's saying it's horrendous. So, that's Saturday morning and I'll let you know what I have for lunch. And I just want to say sometimes the classics really are the best because see these eggs, the buttery eggs on toasted sourdough. Num, 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 num. And that's what I say to Bryce when he's about to eat. So now he's getting excited. And I'm not flashing you, but this is also a part of my life. And for lunch today, there is leftover pasha. So I'm going to apologise if the sound is compromised in this one because it's a bit windy. But I am sitting outside because I've got this gorgeous furniture from Aldi Special Buy. And I'm eating my leftover pasha from last night. So I've got patata hara, which is the potatoes. And then I've got lamb kabsa, which is like slow roasted lamb shank with the rice. One other thing you will realise as we go through this week, I eat a lot of things that not a lot of people eat with a spoon, with a spoon, pasta I eat with a spoon, this dish I'm eating with a spoon. Simple reason, you can get more in a spoon, more efficient, nothing falls off. Use a spoon. Dinner is Chinese tonight because I am all cooked out. I've cooked quiche, I've cooked scotch broth, I've cooked um, chicken for dinner tomorrow, like marinated it and stuff. So all cooked out and now I'm nap trapped and I want to give Bryce, if you can see him in the wee mirror there, a wee bit of time. So luckily I got a starter, some breaded mushrooms from the Chinese, I know. <laughs> and I've got Kung Po to go into um, once I give him an extra wee 10-15 minutes. Sunday breakfast, 49p from Lidl, and it is the best. For lunch, I have some square sausage to use from Donald Butcher, so that is in the George Foreman right now. And I'm also going to put that onto Malted Bloomer from Lidl. Really enjoying this. So I didn't actually record dinner properly last night and I remembered afterwards because I was busy nursing Bryce to sleep and then I came through and quickly served myself because the novelty, my dinner was still warm. 
but there was enchiladas um i make them regularly just now we really enjoy them we're not showing every morning are we bryce but we start every morning with a coffee from my sage coffee machine he Ooh. what star sign are you for breakfast i've still got some of the cadzo sourdough so i'm going to toast a slice of that just with some butter and also the roast turkey breast from lidl i'm actually preferring this to gammon just now which is what i've been eating for years and years and years do you quite like the turkey or chicken at the moment little tea stop after a walk at Huggenfield, and these are the chocolate sandwich fingers from m s delightful and now i'm prepping lunch so it is a lentil butternut squash salad with feta and a tahini yogurt i'll show you when i get down to eat it so this is the finished product and anybody that says salads are boring is eating the wrong salad serve that with Bombay potatoes which I've loosely based on a hay renew recipe some substitutions but pretty much the exact same and then dinner is served Bombay potatoes with coriander yogurt and homemade chicken tikka and this is me going to put the salmon in the oven because this is what I'm going to have for breakfast for the next couple of days just a salmon fillet for breakfast yup so then breakfast is the tasty salmon is hobbits <laughs> So I've just come to sit outside because the weather's pretty good. The sun hasn't hit me yet. But I am about to eat papaya for the first time, which I got in my fresh fruit and veg shop. And a cup of tea and a Diet Coke with my tablets. Can't forget your daily tablets. So this is my morning snack. So you just scoop the seeds out and then I'm just going to eat it with a spoon. It's all right. It doesn't compare to like pineapple and mango for me. Loving sitting out here, can you tell? Lunch is scotch broth. So I batch cooked lentil soup and scotch broth from my fresh fruit delivery because I'd finished up all my soups that I had batch cooked before I had rice and really wanted some more soup available to me. So today is scotch broth. And because I've only eaten a salmon fillet and scotch broth, before my workout, I had to have one of these 25 grams of protein chocolate shake, get them in Morrison's, one of the only protein shakes I actually like, so. Right, see, we're actually melting, aren't we? He was melting. And dinner tonight is my truffle blue cheese mushroom and pancetta pasta dish. I probably need to think of a better name for it. Eh? I can't wait to try this one because it is one of my favourites. Mm. So breakfast this morning that was meant to be salmon is no longer salmon. I mean, I'm lucky mom's brought me this along. But Jonathan came through to my bedroom this morning and said, I've eaten your salmon fillet. Sorry, there was no other protein in the house. That's what I'm doing. Lunch today is a pita with baba ganoush, and salad leaves, halloumi, and some marinated chicken breast. And I'm gonna get my hair done today, and I cannot wait. Roots are so bad. So, fuel up, and then going for some me time. So I'm just remembering as I'm putting these out, this was dinner last night. I was nap trapped by Bryce over key dinner making times, and I succumbed to Papa John's. Cinnamon scrolls are absolutely incredible. Get them. Breakfast is multi toast, the little bloomer again with some turkey slices. Lunch is out on my deck, and again, because I can't get enough in this weather, it is a cheese savoury toasty, and I've melted it, obviously. Check that out. Oh, yeah. With some plain crisps. You know, I'm impressed that I've managed to keep this up. So, tonight's dinner is steak with um, new beetroot hot sauce that I get sent, crushed baby potatoes, some corn, and my truffle fennel salad with pomegranate seeds. Breakfast is 
breakfast again. Good old little pan au chocolat. I think it's an addiction. They're just too good. They're too so, good. not necessarily proud of it, but I kind of am because it's one of my go-to comfort meals and I am feeling extremely tired today. Just, yeah, I, I'm getting through on coffee and paracetamol. I felt like shit this morning, if I'm being honest. So, I'm about to show you probably one of my top three comfort meals. You ready? It is tuna pasta with red onion and mozzarella. And yeah, that is cheese string, as you can see between the pasta sh shapes. <laughs> it is as much as it looks. It's also as tasty as it looks. So you can understand why I want it when I'm feeling a bit meh to make me feel better. And for the last meal of the week, we are on our road trip on the way up to Port Mahomock. So this is what we're getting. God damn. I got them, yeah. Good night, I should show you the meal because I was busy nursing Bryce. Jonathan, what was your view on the McSpicy? It's small, it wasn't a full burger. I did warn him and he didn't yeah. trust me. And it was right, but it was tasty, it was tasty. And that is a typical example of what I eat in a week. So obviously there will be different things. I'm not always popping up to Port Mahomock unless I need to get a McDonald's drive-thru at 7, 8 p.m. Uh, I very rarely have McDonald's actually, but I like the opportunity to get in the mix spicy. Um, you can let me know if this was something you enjoyed, if you got inspiration from any of the meals, if you like to see this sort of thing again. Please just let me know in the comments, like and subscribe, and I will see you next time. Bye.